how to get a hockey player haircut. That is the topic of today's video because I keep getting requests. I don't know why, but everyone wants to know how to get the hockey player or what I like to call like the sweeping type haircut or the flow, right? And I used to do a ton of these on actual hockey players and even soccer players. Uh, and, and I'm gonna break down today how to kind of achieve that look. So the first thing I'm going to suggest right off the bat is to talk about the tools you may need. So this hairbrush, this is the anti-static vent brush that I have on my shop, shop.thesalonguy.com. And the unique thing about this is, as I mentioned, it's an anti-static brush. So when you use it, you're not gonna get all those crazy flyaways that you may get with other brushes. The handle, it's a rubber handle. This is plastic, but this is rubber. So it means when you you grab onto it, you have a really solid grip, which means a lot of control. I love, that's why I'm selling them on my website and I'm using them. So, you know, I'm really excited about this brush. You get a good grip on it. You wanna make sure that it's something you can brush through the hair for not only when it's wet, but also when you're blow drying, okay? The next option is the round brush. This is the TikToker round brush, the two inch barrel, the uh, thermal protection ceramic round brush. This is great. Now this is perfect for if you want to get that flip up in the front and have more volume on your hair, or if you want to have it straight down and the hair is a little bit more frizzy or wavy and you want to get it smoother, you need a brush like this. And that's all for the post styling and the blow dry. What I'm going to do now is break down the haircut. And there's a number of things that you need to understand and we need to kind of go over when it comes to this actual haircut. So first things first, right? And let's get a little bit closer here. Is the hair needs to be a certain length. And, and in my experience having these haircuts, you know, most of the time to me, the hockey player haircut is just the hair is in the face. It's messy. It's a little bit grown out. It's similar to the TikTok haircut, but the thing about it is the hockey player type hair is more of a sweep, right? It more sweeps over to one direction or it sweeps over to the other direction. And that's how you get like that kind of, uh, that look, okay? And in my experience, most of the time it's achieved by growing your hair out and then getting the right haircut. So it looks grown out, but it's still actually layered. So what we're gonna do is just break down this haircut a little bit here, starting in through the nape or the back area. Now this is, I found this mannequin that I had laying around and I said, you know what, this length is actually perfect and exactly where it needs to be. It could be even a little bit longer down and through here, but what, the way I like to cut these haircuts and what you wanna to explain to your stylist, your barber, is you wanna say, you want it to look like it's grown out. You don't wanna look like you have a short haircut. You want the hair to look a little bit on the longer, messier side, but you just want to clean the ends up or you're trying to grow it into that look. But if you are going in and your hair say really, really long and you want to achieve this look, um, this is the best way to do it. And usually what I do is I take the hair and I hold it probably about a finger's length out from the head. And if you want a longer look, obviously that's the, the further away they hold the uh, fingers from the head, the longer it's going to be. So if you're a client watching this and you want this haircut, you don't necessarily need to know or understand these technical terms when it comes to haircutting. This is more for if you're maybe a stylist or a barber and you're trying to figure out how to cut these types of haircuts, well, you're gonna find this a bit more helpful. So again, I'm doing probably a finger's length uh, out from the head. And if you do want to have it longer, then you just extend the finger out more, obviously. It really depends on the type of look you want and your client wants, right? Or if you are the client, it really, really depends on you. Because I've seen these types of haircuts where they're just really, really long and grown out looking. And that is literally what the client wants or the individual. They want their hair to look like a mess. They want to look shaggy, but you could still have that look and have it neat and clean. So what I'm doing right now is a perfect example of if Somebody said, you know what? The length is almost perfect. It's a little bit long throughout the sides and the back. I just want you to kind of clean it up. This is exactly what I would do. I would just go in and 
skim the ends. I'm cutting maybe, you know, a half an inch off, right? I'm cutting maybe a half an inch off from the existing length. And that's something that also is important because the last thing you want to do is say you get your hair to a certain point that you really are comfortable with and then the person cutting your hair, and I know this has happened, but that stylist or that professional ends up cutting way too much hair and you're back to the beginning and it's like really, really frustrating and I've seen that before. So, you know, I would suggest going to a hairstylist for something like this um, unless you find a barber who is familiar with cutting regular haircuts or longer haircuts on guys because the last thing you want is for someone to take clippers out and start giving you a, a tight fade or trying to buzz off a lot of this length and you know you don't want to get this this hacked trust me this is the last thing you want to do is get your hair hacked <laughs> especially when you're trying to grow it out and achieve this type of look all i'm doing right now is i'm literally just following the head shape right i'm following where the hair grows out from the head and i'm cutting it so this is basically a 90 degree haircut or straight out from the head. Now, not straight up, but straight out, okay? Straight out means you're pulling it right from where it grows. If I were to lift this up and elevate it, then we're gonna start creating elevation and then layering and removing too much weight and it's, gonna, it's, not, gonna, it's not gonna look right. You wanna maintain as much kind of thickness, I guess, as you possibly can, but without making it but with still cutting it, right, and still cleaning it up. And that could, that's how it's done uh, with layering. Layering is the process where you're removing weight, but you're allowing the hair to be a little more, a bit, a little more free flowing, I should say, rather than uh, cutting it and making it very, very thin. Why does my Siri keep going off? I don't get it. Ugh. All right, so now I'm, working upwards and we're getting towards that crucial part where it's the top back part because we're still in the back part of the head but we're going into the top right so this is the connection point and this is where it's very very crucial because here is where you need to start leaving the length and working into the longer shape on top if you cut too much hair from this then what's gonna happen is it's just not gonna have a good flow whatsoever, right? And you want all this to be very balanced. What I like to do before I really proceed to like a whole other section of the head is I just like to go back in and put my hands in, in different positions than they were before when I cut it. And what that does is just it moves the hair in a different direction. So if there are areas that are longer, right, or areas that need to be cut, this is the best way to discover that and troubleshoot it because you're, you're combing and you're seeing the hair jumping out and reacting differently than it was before. And it's the best way to cross check and to make sure that everything is even. Trust me, it's worth it. If you are a professional, do it. And if you're a client, you know, it's not like you can tell them how to cut hair, but if they do this, then you know you're in good shape. If they don't do it, then, and they kind of rush through something like this, Chances are it may not be 100% accurate, I hate to say. Now we're gonna move into this part of the head and I'm going to now make sure that this whole area right here, you can see just a little bit of that hair is longer and we're going from the back into the top. Very, very crucial part of the haircut because this is where all the magic happens. This is where the connection starts. This is where the length on top starts. It's right from this area. And again, if you cut it too short, right in this area, right, this is all, this is gonna jump up here. It's not gonna flow. It's not gonna follow the roundness, the natural head shape like, as, like it is right now. And it's just gonna lay horribly. And the client is gonna see it, you're gonna see it. You're gonna freak out, the client's gonna freak out. It's definitely, uh, definitely something I uh, don't recommend. I, I, again, keep, it's all visual. You pull the hair out from the head and you can see the length. So you're saying, okay, well this starts here. I need to cut this to work into this longer shape. And there it is, as you can see, right? And that's all you need to do. So now 
Since we have that connection going from the back into the top, I'm now going to comb everything horizontally. And we're working right in this center section right here, which is what I call, you know, kind of like the mohawk section, which is right down the middle. So now I'm taking a, another section from the previous. I'm making sure that my left elbow here is parallel to match up the section that I'm cutting. So that's gonna help with creating an even cut. And I'm bringing this all straight up, right in through here, and straight out. So there we go. So on the top, straight up is the same thing as straight out because we're going up this way, okay? Now I'm going to work into the corners, then down into the sides, and then I do the same thing on the other side. So the corner is where the head shape rounds out in through here, right? It's the corner of the head. The reason this is very important is because this is where you have the flow start to happen, right? This all has to flow into this. If you don't have this cut right, or it's not blended, or it's not connected, then you're gonna have some styling issues because the hair is just gonna, not gonna flow properly, right? If you want a good flow, <laughs> right? And, and that's the key about this whole haircut is having that, even though it's a bit messy, it's a messy, uh, balanced haircut. And that's what's really, really important. Don't take it for granted because it's a, it's a longer, grown-out looking haircut that you can just, you know, skimp out on it and not give it uh, a proper haircut. What you need to do is you need to realize that, like, the hair is only going to lay a certain way and better if you actually take the time to do it. So now we're going to go into the very, very, very bottom, right? This is, this is the actual sides. So we went from the corner to now we're in the sides, which is the bottom half right above the ear. And what I'm doing is just removing that slight bit of weight and I'm also connecting the corner right in through back here, just like this. And it's, it's like following a puzzle, right? It's literally following a puzzle and you really can't go wrong if you, if you put the pieces together <laughs> properly. That's what's really crucial is that you are very, very consistent and very balanced, but also have the end game in mind, right? Very, very important, have the end game in mind. So what you want to do now, if you're cutting, is you're, you're going to stand on the opposite side, and I haven't, technically, I really haven't moved. I'm in the same position that I was before. So this is great for your body positioning because I'm not putting myself in an awkward situation. I'm not coming over the top this way to cut. I'm literally just standing in the same position and cutting. Now, yes, over time, you may feel a little discomfort, right? If your arm is always up this way all day long, it's good for the trap muscles. But as somebody who's done this for many, many years, you know, you do start to feel a little pressure and you get a little sore after a while. Uh, and that in this trap area, right, and your, your shoulder, you know, you do feel it after a while. But you're, you're better off standing this way then coming over the top and cutting down this way. It's just, and I've seen so many people do it and it just hurts to look at them, right? It hurts to look at them. All right, here we are, very bottom. And whatever hair I'm seeing that is just not part of the shape or it's not blended properly, I'm just cutting it, right? My motto is when in doubt, cut it out. <laughs> but just make sure that you're, you're cutting it with a purpose. That's the crucial thing is that you're cutting it with a purpose you know why you're doing it, where you're doing it, and you don't want to just randomly start cutting hair and the next thing you know, you're taking off hair that shouldn't be coming off, right? So th the process that I'm doing now is I'm cross-checking and I'm making sure that everything is balanced, it's all even, which is looking good so far. The last step that I do in this top area is I'll go in and just make sure that all of this is blended and layered perfectly, which it is. If you do see any longer parts right through here, they just skim those off. But this is a real true test to check for balance to make sure, because you're bringing everything up and you're really seeing how everything is laying, right? And don't be, don't be discouraged if you do find some areas that are a bit longer and you know, that, don't, that don't really match up as well. It's, it's totally okay, it happens to the best of us. 
and all you need to do is really just go back in and clean it up. You know, what you can't do is fix an area where if you cut the hair too short, then you're going to, you know, have an issue because if it's too short, at that point it's too late. And if you keep cutting it shorter and shorter, <laughs> it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun at all, especially for the client. So the front part right here, right? This is where the important part comes in to play and that's the front of the hair. So again, as I mentioned, most of the time the client wants the hair to be a little bit longer. They want the hair to be in their face, right? That's where you get the sweep from. And what I'm doing now is I'm just combing the hair and cutting it down to kind of sweep over to match up in through this corner, right? Right in through here like this. So it's always going to be longer towards the center. And the reason that is, is just because a client may want to sweep the hair in a different direction. He may want to go over this way, all right? Or he may want to go over this way. It all really, really, really depends. So now the haircut is complete and it's time to style it. I suggest using my number one selling product, Tidal Wave. This is what I suggest for the TikToker type haircuts. And this is what I'm suggesting for this type of look as well. So anywhere from five to 10 spritzes, you don't want to really overdo it with this because you know, it does have light hold and light texture to it, which is great. But like with anything that's overdone, it's just too much. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow dry the hair and I'm going to use my hand like this to shake up the texture a bit and to get kind of a messier textured look. I'm not, I want the hair smooth, but I also want a lot of movement to it. All right, so here is the blow dried look, right? So this usually when I end up finishing on a client who wants this type of look, right away they're like, oh my gosh, this is great, I love it, I love it, because it still looks long, it's in the face. You know, most of the time the parents hate it because they say the kids can't see, but they can. They, they work around their eyes. <laughs> they work the hair around their eyes and they're, they're able to function properly, <laughs> trust me. But a lot of times, you know, they want the hair longer in the face and messy. But here's the thing, if you want to sweep it over because of the way we layered it right now, right? A lot of times a guy will do like, you know, who will like kind of, uh, let me see this way, sweep it, right? Sweep it over this way, sweep it over this way. So the sweep is that they want the hair to go like that, right? So you see how it, how it flows over and it just kind of falls right into place. And that's the whole thing. And if a guy wants, you know, just to brush his hand through his hair like this and bring it over, it's gonna do like that. And then when they put the helmet on, when they're playing, if you wear a helmet, which you should be, then it's gonna flow just like this. If you have the helmet on, a lot of times the guys like to see the hair kind of peeking through the helmet, which is its own, you know, cool thing. The reason, again, like we did it where it's longer in the middle, now we're just simply going over the other way, as you can see. So this haircut, and it has to be cut this way, will allow you to sweep the hair over both directions. And a lot of times you just brush the fingers over like this, and sometimes it's kind of like an extreme part like that, they'll bring it over, and then the hair just flows like that. Same thing with the other way. You wanna get a lift on it, bring the hair up and over, and then look, you're gonna get a more accentuated flow this way. But this is it, this is the classic hockey player haircut tutorial and I hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this, if you found this helpful, if you want this haircut, I'd love to know. So thank you all so much for watching and also don't forget, all of December, use code HOLIDAY15, the number 15, HOLIDAY15 at shop.thesalonguy.com for 15% off and it's free shipping in the United States. So. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a slanga.